Families of the victims of El Faro are doing what they can to keep their loved ones front and center. They're continuing to do what they can as well to get answers into the El Faro tragedy. Today, those families placed pictures of the ill-fated crew in the front row at the hearings. General Force Scott Johnson joins us live from the Prime Osborne Convention Center. So what's happened as far as the hearings are concerned today, Scott? Bruce, they've discussed a lot of this morning, particularly on whether or not crew members had enough rest, what the policies were, also about whether or not crew members knew they could report any problems on the ship and be protected under federal whistleblower laws. In addition to that, there was also this. The families of the victims, as you saw there, took to the front row to place photographs of the crew members. There are numerous families who have been at practically all the testimony, and today they tell me their goal was to make sure the panel knows visibly who the people who died on El Faro were. Several of the family members in, in a show of solidarity and also to put a face to this tragedy, we decided today would be an appropriate day at the end of the first week of the last hearing to show all the family members that are impacted by this tragedy. They've got two interviews that are testifying today. The primary this morning has been the former third mate on El Faro who did serve but not was there when the ship sunk. He has been testifying about how much rest they would get, whether or not it was enough, four to five hours at a time or some of the times they've talked about. He also talked about um, things like whether or not they knew that they would be protected under those federal whistleblower laws if they saw that maybe the ship was not being run properly. They're trying to look at things that can change in the shipping industry, like maybe posting uh, things about whistleblower laws on ships, on bulkheads, so the crew knows whether or not they can report things and not be worried about retaliation. So that's just something they've been discussing to try and figure out how to improve the shipping industry in that regard. For now, we're live downtown of the Prime Osborne, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.